treat you better. And not some weak, sniveling pussy, starved for attention. You're a fucking disappointment. Ryback Reeves, the ex-WWE professional wrestler, came on my channel and shocked everyone by telling us how he went vegan. How he made a really strong connection with animals. But as you've probably guessed by the video title and the thumbnail, doesn't look like he was telling the truth. Ryback is not a man of his word. You have all these these factory farms and these things, just torturing these animals. And you look in their eyes and you see, and you just, you gotta go, I can make the association, they go, well, I love my dogs, and, and pigs are very similar to dogs, actually smarter. Double stack cheeseburger, two burger patties. Mm. But you could just see the fear and the terror and the, the stuff that we've come up with, oh, they don't feel pain or this. And you just realize all the lies we've been told as a society to profit these scumbags. Bacon Ranch McCrispy. Oh, mm. oh big guy's hungry. You just see the suffering going on at a mass level and what we're doing. KFC chicken nuggets. A little Steiner math for you guys. Then the mac and cheese. Mm. Oh, these are, I can eat a lot of these. And then when you start seeing the 80% the of the, the world's soybeans are going to feeding the animals and, and destroying the planet. And like, it just it just confirms that it's the, the right choice. Stuffed pretzel, crust, pizza, pepperoni pizza. Mm. Mm. It's our, our duties as a human being to not be so selfish for the right here, right now. Like I said, we're a blip on the radar of human development and we owe it to the future to to do our best steakhouse garlic meat mm. oh, we'll bite. i did message ryback about this he didn't respond ryback's a big strong guy but that doesn't mean he's got a big strong mind and that's no shade on ryback it does take an extremely strong mind to reject this multi-billion dollar industry with over 50 years of experience of psychologically manipulating people like Milk Pep. They spend thousands and thousands of dollars trying to convince you to drink milk. That latest Aubrey Plaza ad, the Got Milk campaign, the Milk for Athletes, Milk is a Sports Drink campaign, that was these guys. Ryback likes to put himself out there as a fuck the system kind of guy. He's been fighting against social media censorship now for years, but now here he is caving into another system. Here he is bending over and giving into a system that censors anyone who dares to try and expose what they're doing. A system that uses something called ag-gag laws that prevent you from filming what they do to animals. And what they do to animals is hidden behind high fences, covered in barbed wire, surrounded by cameras with 24 seven security. A system that lies and cheats people into supporting animal abuse. How does someone go from saying things like this? But you could just see the fear and the terror and you just realize all the lies we've been told. To things like this. <sighs> Oh, these are, I can eat a lot of these. I think I know the answer. The world that we're all living in right now is not a vegan world. Walk outside, what do you see? Burger King, McDonald's, KFC, non-vegan clothing like leather. The majority of the world goes about their days using the products of animal agriculture on a regular basis, three times a day or more. And not only that, the industries that cause all of this animal suffering actively try to hide it. We've got Happy Eggs, The Smiling Cow, Free Range, Cage Free, Grass Fed, Bio, Eco, Organic. They're coming up with new ways to try and win you over to their products every single day. The Got Milk campaign was one example of that. The same people who did that campaign followed up with another one aimed at athletes. They wanted to try to convince you that milk is a sports drink. And their most recent attempt at convincing you to drink the breast milk of a cow has been with Aubrey Plaza and her Got Wood, Wood Milk campaign, which is aimed at mocking plant-based milks in favor of suckling on a cow's teats. They're pulling out every trick in the book to try to trick you into buying their products that come from horrific animal suffering. And it's easy to trick people because they don't want to see the reality. This scene from the Amazon series, The Boys, explains it really well. Loops lose hundreds of people each year to collateral damage. Oh, that'd be all over the news. People would be screaming bloody murder. There might be the old mention of it now and again. There's a fuck sight more that happens that just gets swept right under the rug. Why? And an obvious? Movie tickets, merchandise, theme parks, video games, a multi-billion dollar global industry supported by corporate lobbyists, politicians on both sides. 
main reason that you won't hear about it is because the public don't want to know about it. A multi-billion dollar industry supported by politicians on both sides and the people who don't want to see the truth because they're addicted to the flesh and secretions of animals. What chance did Ryback ever stand? Never got back. This is Austin Aries. He's the man who introduced Ryback to the plant-based diet and veganism for animals. DOG we care, but PIG we don't. Why? It's this learned behavior. I call it selective compassion. We've learned to have selective compassion. You know, even things like the, you know, the Humane Society, you know, they care about cats and dogs, but if you go to their, their luncheons and their meetings, they're serving cold cuts. And it's like, so I guess you didn't care. <laughs> we're only yeah. humane for the ones that we call pets, right? It's just say you love pets, you don't love animals. Things are very intelligent and, and every bit as cute and cuddly as dogs if you want to see them as that. But, but most Absolutely. people see them as a slab of bacon. And that's, again, it's conditioning, it's social conditioning. And so you're trying to undo a lot of times generations of things. Society makes it very easy to keep yourself ignorant and, and keep your head in the sand. And sometimes you just have to pull people's head out of the sand and really question why they do these things. Austin has been vegan for over 11 years. His Instagram bio gives you a big hint as to why he's still vegan. The entire outside world is based on your thoughts and mental attitude. The entire world is your own projection. Austin is a strong-minded man. Another beast in both body and mind is Dave LaDuc, the world champion fighter. He's a man who uses headbutts to knock people out in the ring in the brutal sport of Lithuay. I truly believe human bettering starts with not slaughtering animals. Like, mm -hmm. as long as we're going to have slaughterhouses, we're going to have battlefields. If we're not able to be peaceful, with innocent animals, how the hell are we going to be able, able to be peaceful together? Don't you want to be one of the people who refuses to fund animal abuse? Most people are still getting convinced and mind fucked by these massive industries and their insane marketing campaigns. How many of you were told by your mum or dad that you needed milk for strong bones? That is just pure marketing nonsense. And it was massively successful. The more animal products you eat, the more money they make. Imagine a football stadium. Fill it with animals. Now imagine as many football stadiums as you can full of animals. What you've got in your head right now is still nowhere near close to how many animals are being killed. In the age of information, ignorance is a choice, guys. I'm going to finish this video with a quote from Ryback himself. Things need to change. So you have to stop being lazy and start seeing what your choices are doing. Ryback, clearly, you're a big and strong guy on the outside but I thought you were also a big and strong guy on the inside. If you're still watching, my invitation to come on the channel is still open. Go vegan and stay vegan. And I'll catch you in the next one. I could meet you better. And not some weak, sniveling pussy starved for attention. You're a 